So I got hooked in by the 25 for 25 sale over at Tomin, and I bought this. I'll be giving you the good points and the bad points about the Harley Benton Fusion 3 HSS and the reason why I might not be keeping this one. Let's waste no time and give it a look. Mm. One of the big draws of the Fusion series are those stainless steel frets, and I've got to tell you, they do not disappoint. They are shaped incredibly well and do not have any sharp edges or flat spots. As you may well know, stainless steel frets are a feature that you find on much higher price point guitars. So this is a massive win for a guitar that comes in at the price of a mid-level Squire or a low-end Epiphone. The hardware on the Fusion 9 is a mixture between both branded and unbranded pieces. The Wilkinson Trebolo unit that's used on this guitar is similar to the one that's used on all of the Reverend guitars across the board. This screams quality punching well above its price point. The locking tuners are HB stamped and are by a company called Jinho. That being said, they are as stable and as sturdy as any locking tuner that I've tried. To cut straight to the point, the hardware is solid and I would not be upgrading it anytime soon. The neck and board are both roasted maple, which has this beautiful, rich caramelized color. And I think it pairs really nicely with the matte olive finish of the body. The board radius is 12 inches, which is a nice compromise between vintage and modern. And the neck profile is really comfortable without being too thin. The neck profile to me reminds me of the Ibanez AZ series, which is high praise indeed. As a little bonus feature as well, it comes as standard with roller string trees, which is a really nice addition. Disclosure time now, my guitar is actually a B-Stock model because I was too late on the original sale. Toman didn't take the B-Stock models off sale however, so I snapped up a bargain. Because of this I won't be mentioning any of the minor cosmetic wear, because that would be really unfair on this instrument. So far we've been singing the praises of the Fusion 3, but it can't all be good can it? There are some finish inconsistencies on the guitar, especially prevalent in the pickup cavities, but these are things that you won't notice unless you are really looking for. But for the sake of full disclosure, I'm mentioning them anyway. So let's address the elephant in the room here, and that is, of course, those Roswell pickups. Though I've not had chance to try them in a live mix, they have that spongy mid-range, which I know will get buried within a live setting. One thing that I will admit is an absolute saving grace for this guitar is having the coil split for the humbucker on the tone control. I hate, hate, hate having a push-pull pot on a volume control. Harley Benton have done an absolute solid by putting it on the tone control. Thank you, Harley Benton.
this guitar is no longer in the 25 for 25 sale. So you are looking at around £319 delivered to the UK. This is a really similar price point to the Squire Classic Vibe Stratocaster, the Yamaha Pacifica 120H, or the Larry Carlton S3. All of those guitars are fantastic in their own right, but don't match up to the specification that the Harley Benton brings. This Fusion 3 model is very inspired by the Charvel Pro Mod DK24. The Charvel boasts a Goto trem rather than the Wilkinson and a set of Seymour Duncan pickups. It is worth bearing in mind, however, that the Charvel retails at £929, which is almost three times the price of the Harley Benton. Now down to the reason why I might not be keeping this guitar, and it's not what you'd think. The guitar itself is a fantastic spec that suits me down to the ground. However, I bought this guitar for live use. My current band is winding down, so as much as it pains me to say, I might not have need for this in my collection. It would be really sad to see such a solid workhorse guitar slip through my fingers. But I have a massive guitar collection and I just don't have need for it currently. The Fusion 3 packs insane features for its price, but another serious contender is the ST25 Fire Mist. Click on the link on screen now to show a demo of that very guitar and leave me a comment below if you think that I should keep this guitar or not. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again on the next one.